one, I want to appreciate my technical teams because WHO declared on uh, Friday that it's not an emergency. COVID is no longer a pandemic, not an emergency. My technical team had already advised me and we had reviewed the status and on 4th, I actually issued an advisory to my uh, colleague, the Minister for Foreign Affairs and uh, my colleague, the Minister for Transport, so that they are able to lift some of the issues that we had put there. One is like, for example, any passenger arriving, we had, uh, it was necessary that they give us a certificate of either vaccination, and if they have no certificate of vaccination, then a COVID uh, certificate, uh, test showing that they have uh, zero COVID, they don't have COVID. So that is no longer there. From uh, January, our averages were about 2.5% of our COVID from the ones that we analyzed and tested, 2.5% were positive. But up to the last week of February, our tests then, it was 0.5% of all the samples that we tested, only 0.5% had COVID. What that means is then that uh, it gives us an opportunity to lift the measures that we had uh, put in place in terms of restrictions. So now passengers can uh, travel freely, even uh, the general population, now they can mingle and do anything else uh, freely. We no longer have to wear masks. We don't have to wear, uh, we don't have to use sanitizers all the time. We don't have to wash hands. We don't have to keep social distance the way we are doing. But that doesn't mean that uh, we should not take uh, personal safety and hygiene, sanitation seriously. So at a personal level, because what happened during COVID, because of these measures, many diseases went down. Like upper respiratory diseases in children went down diarrhea diseases went down. It's because the general population was now practicing hygiene and sanitation. So as much as uh, COVID is now no longer a pandemic nor an emergency with us, I want to encourage Kenyans to still do public uh, personal hygiene and sanitation. If you need to wash hands, please wash hands. After visiting the toilets, wash hands. Because we have other diseases like cholera that will be spread if they don't uh, practice personal hygiene. Uh, in terms of funding, the way you have asked, of course we had funds for COVID. What that means is that now that fund can be used for something else. We have other emergencies. Just recently we were battling with the cholera. So those funds can now be used for other health emergencies that uh, come about. So it should not be a big deal. 